the oil and gas industry, it's a world of grit, grime and gushing profits. We all use the products. Gasoline for our cars, natural gas to heat our homes, plastics for just about everything else. But have you ever stopped to think about where it all comes from, how it gets from deep beneath the Earth's surface to your doorstep? It's a complex process, folks, involving a whole symphony of moving parts, massive rigs, miles of pipeline and an army of hard-working men and women. And at the heart of this operation, often overlooked but always essential, are the floor hands. These are the unsung heroes of the oil patch, the backbone of every drilling operation. They're the first ones on the rig floor and the last ones off. They're the muscle and sweat behind every barrel of oil, every cubic foot of natural gas. Without floor hands, this industry grinds to a halt. It's as simple as that. So let's dive in and learn about the men and women who make it all happen. What does a floor hand actually do? Well, let me tell you, it ain't for the faint of heart. It's a physically demanding job requiring long hours and a tolerance for all kinds of weather. A typical day starts before the sun comes up. You're out on the rig floor, coffee in hand, getting ready for the day's tasks. First up, you're assisting the derrick hand with pipe connections wrestling those heavy sections into place as the drill goes deeper. Next, you might be mixing drilling fluids, also known as mud. This stuff keeps the drill bit cool and lubricated, and you've got to get the consistency just right. Then there's general maintenance and cleaning because a clean rig is a safe rig. Safety is paramount in this line of work, folks. One wrong move can have disastrous consequences. That's why floor hands are trained to be vigilant always looking out for potential hazards and following strict safety protocols. So, you think you have what it takes to be a floor hand? Well, it takes more than just a strong back and a willingness to get dirty. You need grit, determination and a whole lot of common sense. Physical strength is a must. You'll be lifting heavy equipment, working at heights and spending long hours on your feet. But it's not just about brute force. You need to be able to think on your feet, problem solve and work effectively as part of a team. Most companies require a high school diploma or equivalent. Many prefer some vocational training or an associate's degree in a related field. And don't forget about certifications. You'll need to be certified in things like well control, first aid and CPR. These certifications prove you have the knowledge and skills to work safely and effectively. It's not a glamorous job, but it's an honest one. And it can be incredibly rewarding, knowing that you're playing a vital role in keeping the world running. Section 4. Climbing the Derrick Career Paths and Testimonials Floor hand is a stepping stone in a challenging and lucrative industry. With hard work, floor hands can move up the ranks. They can become derrick hands, responsible for the top of the drilling operation. Some even become drillers, managing the entire drilling process. Just ask Jake, a seasoned floor hand I met in West Texas. I started as a roustabout, green as they come, Jake told me. Now I'm training to be a derrick hand. The sky's the limit. And then there's Sarah, a single mother who traded her desk job for steel-toed boots. It was tough at first, Sarah admitted, being the only woman on the rig. But I proved myself, and now I'm making more money than ever. Their stories are a testament to the opportunities in this industry. It's about camaraderie, purpose, and accomplishment. Section 5. Life on the rig, an isolated world of steel and sweat. Life on an oil rig is not for everyone. It's a world unto itself, a self-contained island of steel and sweat, often located hundreds of miles from civilization. You'll work long hours, typically 12-hour shifts, seven days a week. You'll live in cramped quarters, sharing a room with your fellow crew members. The food is decent, the company is rough around the edges, but good-hearted and the work is relentless. You'll be away from your family and friends for weeks or even months at a time. The isolation can be tough, but it also forges a unique bond between the crew. You're out there together, relying on each other, sharing the good times and the bad. It's a different way of life, that's for sure. But for some, it's a calling, an adventure, a chance to test their limits and discover what they're truly made of. Section 6. The Unsung Heroes of Energy, your call to action. The next time you fill up your tank or turn on the lights, take a moment to think about the floor hands. They're the unsung heroes of the oil and gas industry, the backbone of an industry that powers our world. They work tirelessly, often in harsh and dangerous conditions, to keep the energy flowing. 
They are the grit beneath our fingernails, the sweat on our brows, the fuel in our engines. Are you up for a challenge? Do you crave a job that's demanding, rewarding and vitally important? Then maybe, just maybe, you have what it takes to be a floor hand. It's not for everyone, but for those who answer the call, it's more than just a job. It's a brotherhood, a way of life, a chance to be part of something bigger than yourself.